Hello and welcome back to Kids Invent Stuff where we build crazy inventions designed by kids and where today we're going to try something that might just be impossible. So 10 year old Felix sent in his incredible invention idea for a face mask that generates electricity. And when we saw it, we loved it. We just didn't know if we could actually make it. So today's video, we're going to try and make one of these generate electricity. Let's go! Kids invent stuff. This video is part of the Futures European Researchers Night where millions of people across Europe come together to find out about science and engineering in fun and inspiring ways. So let's get started. So that's obviously not going to work, but on Felix's drawing he has a turbine built into the mask that spins as you breathe in and out. So that's what we're going to start with. So we need to make a mini wind turbine that you can activate when you breathe on it and a computer fan is a good place to start. Usually what happens is you put electricity into it, it spins and it cools down your components. However, if you use it backwards by blowing on it, when it spins, it can generate some electricity. Now there's two things that we're a little bit unsure of, how much electricity it will actually generate and how on earth we're gonna connect this to our mask. So one of those problems can be solved by getting rid of this face mask and replacing it, don't throw your mask on the floor, with this one that has more structure to it. And this is a vented mask, which isn't ideal. We'll tell you why later on. Uh, and we can replace those vents, hopefully, with one of our little spinny fans and then see if we can wear that and make the fan spin. We've just super glued <laughs> these little computer fans onto the vents from this mask. Uh, to see if they will spin when we breathe it. Breathe. Mm. Yeah, that one. It's not a very good seal, that's the problem. That's the issue with these masks, is it's... Oh, oh! Yeah, it's a tiny bit of movement. On that one, th this one isn't moving at all. I'm feeling quite lightheaded. Oh, it stopped moving now. Okay, so the problem is that the uh, the mask doesn't have quite a good enough seal around the mouth. So because the little spinny fan things are creating more air resistance, so when you try and blow through the vent, it's not really going out of the vent very well. It's just going out the side of the mask. So we need a way of getting the mask to fit better so the things actually spin. So we've got these two masks with rubber seals so they fit nice and snugly on your face. And these are filter masks they are a little bit bigger, but they have these vents on them. So this one has a circular vent and this one has a slit. So we thought for this one, we are going to use a slightly bigger fan. So that should hopefully mount on there. And then for this one, we thought we'd try something a little bit different. So these are blowers and usually they spin and direct air out of here but we're going to use them in reverse. So we're going to push our air into there and hopefully make our fan spin. I'm a human wind turbine. I'm quite out of breath. Now the next thing is to connect this to this. You ruined a perfectly good mask. So I'm just using some Sugru, which is moldable glue, to cover up the air vent in my mask because I don't need to breathe through it anymore because I'm going to breathe through the fans to hopefully generate some electricity. And if you watched our last video, which was our finger cutlery video, Sugru failed me. So hopefully this is its chance to redeem itself. It's time for some electronics. Now on Felix drawing, he has a battery to store the energy that the face masks produce. Now we don't think that our face mask will produce enough to be able to charge a battery, but we're going to have a go at charging some capacitors. Now capacitors allow you to store up a little bit of energy and release it quickly when we need it. And as I've got two blowers on my mask and Sean's got one fan, my mask should produce four times more energy than Sean's, theoretically. What that will also mean is it will be a lot harder for me to spin those blowers. Now, to stop the energy from going back into the fans and blowers, we're gonna use a diode. And what that does is it just allows the energy to move one way into the capacitor and not back to activate our fans and blowers. So we're gonna wire all this together and see if it works. 
Okay, so we've connected our little spinning fan turbine things to our capacitors with our little diodes in, and now we're just gonna do a little test to see if we can produce any electricity at all to charge them up. Ruth's gonna go first. Yes. Look at that. It is spinning. So we're not actually gonna know whether she's producing electricity until we um, measure the voltage. You're right, Ruth. I feel a bit faint. I'm starting to not necessarily be able to see very well in front of me. <laughs> so Bruce, just having a little moment. It only actually really spins if you breathe hard. No engineers were harmed in the testing of the electricity generating masks. Okay, my turn. So I'm going to put this on and then afterwards we will measure the voltage to see if our capacitor has been filling up at all. <laughs> We're outside. The neighbours are in the garden next door. They're going to think, what on earth is happening here? <laughs> To lie down a bit now as well. Honestly, you get quite lightheaded. Okay, so this is the moment of truth. We're going to uh, see if we've produced any electricity with our frantic breathing in the face masks, and we're going to measure the voltage of our little capacitors. 1.6 volts. It's very small. Do you mean I can't charge my phone with it, Sean? I'm, I'm not entirely sure that it's going to be a phone charging kind of situation. <sighs> I'm trying to think what I can do with my 1.6 volts. We haven't actually, um, we haven't actually thought about how, what we're going to power if we can generate electricity, but we have produced- We've generated, I was just saying, <laughs> we've <laughs> generated realize. electricity with our faces. With your face, how do you feel about having a face that can produce electricity, Ruth? Oh, I feel amazing. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is a tiny amount um, squeezed in the capacitor. So we're gonna have to be creative about how we can use it, but, Ruth's mask officially does produce some electricity. Sean's turn. We have electricity. So we've measured the voltage of the capacitor in Ruth's mask and in my mask, and both of them have charged a little bit from our breathing in and out. But we do now need to work out how we might use that electricity in a face mask while it's on our faces. It is still important to wear a face mask to protect yourself and others from COVID-19. We will now demonstrate the advantages of face masks using custard. Now you will see two people both wearing face masks. One, one. Now you will see only one person wearing a face mask. I got custarded but my mouth and nose are safe. Now you will see someone wearing a vented mask. I'm dripping COVID. Now you will see two people without face masks. <laughs> this is why you wear masks, people, so you don't get custard in your mouth and nose, or indeed COVID. It's a metaphor. Wear a face mask. Spitting custard in people's faces will most likely spread COVID-19. Please don't spit food in people's faces. So our mask might generate electricity, but it isn't very COVID safe. And that's because all the air that we breathe just goes straight out through the fans and blowers and could potentially spread COVID more. So we are going to use this N95 mask. We're gonna cut it up and put it over the outlets to make our mask COVID safe. It's like when you make those uh, paper men that are all holding hands. Except these, this is the pandemic version. So we've thought long and hard about what our face generated electricity should power and we have decided a buzzer because it's actually really hard to speak in the masks you can't really understand what anyone is saying and although we're wearing a mask social distancing is still important and not everyone is social distancing so sean and i have decided we're going to mount these little buzzers on our mask that we can activate when people get too close and essentially it's like screaming in their faces but with a really high pitched buzzer like get away Get away! So we've mounted these buzzers and they can be activated by these little buttons that we've mounted on our masks. Now it's time to see how practical they'd be in the real world. So we've got to test how well these work to charge up our capacitors by breathing through them. So how better to do it than with some exercise? 
been a long time since I used a treadmill. I hope I don't die. I'm definitely breathing faster now. I'm gonna crank it up to 10. How's it feel to breathe? It's hard work. Running out of air then. Couldn't quite breathe fast enough through the mask. Yeah. Okay, I've definitely been charging this up a bit. This makes it hard work wearing the mask and running. It's tricky, but I think it might be Ruth's turn. What could possibly go wrong? Oh no, that's Sean's line. Hey, Sean. No one can literally understand a word you're saying, but Ruth is officially generating electricity with her face right here. This is Ruth's face. She's running. She's running. Peak physical performance here. This is uh, the ultimate test. This should be in the Olympics. Electricity generating with your face while you're running on a treadmill. That's my neighbor. Hi, this is the future. This is the future of renewable energy right here. Ruth is producing electricity with her face while she breathes, while exercising. Oh my word. Breathing is so much harder through this mask now we've added those filters. Oh. So we figure another good way to test how fast we can breathe to generate electricity would be to scare ourselves. So we're gonna watch a scary movie and see how much energy we can generate. I hate scary films. Nicely charged, our buzzers should work. So we're gonna go shopping. I said, it's COVID, not Chernobyl. <laughs> there were some excellent reactions from people. They just thought we were taking the coronavirus incredibly seriously, which of course we are. And we happened to choose the hottest day ever to walk around a supermarket with some very impressive masks. A huge thank you to 10 year old Felix for his amazing electricity generating mask invention. And a massive thank you to the folks at the Futures Festival of Discovery and the EU Horizons 2020 Research and Innovation Programme. They've helped us prove that it is in fact possible to produce electricity using a face mask. Now we build all sorts of crazy kids invention ideas on this channel. So if you like this sort of thing, don't forget to subscribe. And if you know of any kids whose inventions should be brought to life, send them to our website. Which will appear on the screen below. And we'll see you next time. Like and subscribe, 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 I can't speak, bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.